Hey everyone, this is Eric. I'll show you how to customize your own dashboard themes. Make sure you have all the downloads in the description. Uh, you either want USB XTAF Explorer or Export 360. You want USB uh, XTAF Explorer if you're using a flash drive and you want export if you're using a hard drive transfer cable. So you also need WinRAR to extract all those files. So make sure you have that first out of anything. You also need Mario, which is where you're going to customize your theme. You want to right click it and run it as administrator once you have it installed. Go to the M and then go to Theme Creator under Other Tools. And then see you can uh, load images for your main image, media, library, uh, system settings, and game library. Your sphere color is that uh, is like the bottom part of your dashboard where you your little tabs on your 360 like sit, I guess you would call it, <laughs> or float above. I'm gonna name this NEG Theme One, and this load images from existing theme does not work. Just to let you know, it doesn't like search for themes on Mario and then uh, take those photos like from let's say if Modern Warfare 2 premium theme uh, but first things first you want to make sure if you have imaging editing software and uh, position your whatever you have as closest to the top as possible so like here I'm gonna move this up and down like it was originally like here but I'm gonna move it up here and uh, I already made one of these so I already saved it and everything so I'm just gonna load it up and the reason for positioning it, it as close as the top as you can is this reflection kinda of thing right here this kinda of shows you like where your uh, sphere color comes up to uh, just so you can get the most out of your uh, photos for your custom theme. I'm just kind of load these up and then save it. You can customize it however way you want, but just for the speed of this video, I'm just going to get this done. And I'm going to save it as this theme again. And there it pops up on the desktop. Your theme has been successfully saved. Now, in the next part, I will show you how to uh, put it on your device, whether that be a flash drive or hard drive transfer cable. Alright, so if you're using a hard drive transfer cable and you want to put your uh, custom theme on your hard drive, this is where you need to be. Uh, once you have Export 360 installed or extracted and everything, you want to make sure you run it as administrator. Right click and do that. Uh, make sure you run it as administrator out of the uh, install folder or ex extract folder. Uh, all these things, this .sys down here, .dlls, you need them. They're components of the program and you need it to make it work unless it won't otherwise so once you have it open come up with a uh, little device loader in the center of the screen here and you want to go click on your hard drive and press ok and then go to device one partition three you want to go to content and then from there you want to go to this bunch of zeros or the common profile you want to scroll all the way down until you hit FFF E07D1 dashboard data gamer picks themes profile data etc and then click on 000 30,000 and then you'll see all your uh, themes that you have here I already have a couple uh, modded ones on there so I'm gonna drag and drop this file from audio in there and it will put it on there on uh, you may
be seeing uh, this little cross out circle thing uh, when you drag and drop it into this open space that's because you don't have your user account control turned off so what you want to do is go to the control panel and go to user accounts and family safety and then you want to go to user accounts and turn account user control off you make sure this box is checked off and then press OK and it's a pain but you gotta restart your computer if it's not already off but if you have a different operating system like Windows 7 or XP uh, search for a video on YouTube on how to do that it's make sure you type in how to turn off user account control and then type in your uh, operating system type Windows uh, XP or Windows 7 next part is for USB flash drive users so hard drive transfer cable people you're done you just gotta go to your Xbox and change your theme okay flash drive users this is how you will put your custom theme on your flash drive you scroll over and go to system settings and then scroll down to memory go to your hard drive and go to themes now you just wanna pick whatever theme you want and just move it move it to your memory unit your uh, USB flash drive that is and then you want to plug your flash drive back into your computer Alright, flash drive people, uh, make sure you have USB XSAF uh, with this IO.dll and run it as administrator. Uh, it won't work if you don't have this little file in the same uh, folder. So, you can just file, open device, content, and go to the multiple zeros file, and then... Uh, click 5848070 e four. it might show up different on yours I'm not sure but uh, if you have like multiple like multiple themes or multiple gamer pictures you might be confused but click on click on the file and then I'll say uh, 000 and then I'll have an, uh, a character and I'll have another four zeros I know that this is the themes because it's has 000 30,000 and that's what the uh, theme where the theme files are stored on uh, devices for your 360 so once you've done that uh, drag your custom theme into the empty space there and you're done now you just have to load it on your Xbox obviously you can't drag and drop without uh, user account control turned off and you probably know how to do that now from the last clip but make sure you do that if it's not already done and now you'll see how to uh, or how it looks on your 360 alright you made it last part scroll over to your, uh, your gamer tag uh, tab right there and then change theme and then scroll keep scrolling until you find it what whatever you named it and there it is that's what I named mine that looks great doesn't it and see that worked out perfectly how I repositioned it because I got the whole the whole picture thanks for watching guys